Friends, I want to talk to you about something that's been on my heart lately. And as I went out for a walk this afternoon, <laughs> took a random turn and stumbled upon this cemetery that I've never even seen before. But as I'm walking through it, these thoughts just racing through my mind and kind of beating out of my heart. So I wanted to get it out there. And, and it's my problem with most quote unquote Christians. And I believe I was one of those quote unquote Christians before. And here's my problem is if you truly believed in the words of the Bible, if you truly believed in Jesus, if you truly believed in heaven, if you truly believed the things we profess to believe, then how could you keep your mouth shut? How could you not tell at least your friends and family, but everyone around you, if you actually believed what you say you believe in? And it's it, it blows my mind. It's crazy to me that if we... If we truly believe that there is a God who sent his son down on this earth to die for our sins and that just by inviting him into our life, we can have this relationship with him and he'll always have our back and he'll always be there for us and there will be a place in heaven. We can have our name written in the book of life. If we actually believe that. How is it humanly possible that we haven't talked to our friends about it? How is it humanly possible that we haven't talked to our family about it? How is it humanly possible that you could let a person sit next to you in a restaurant, walk by you on a street and not tell them about it? It's the equivalent of having the cure for cancer locked up in a laboratory in your basement. If you had the cure for cancer, you would tell the world and you would let everybody know it. But we've got the cure for life. And I'm, been, I'm as guilty of it as, as any person reading or watching this. But I just can't, I just can't stay silent anymore. I just want more and more people to know. Because if you look at this cemetery, if you look at these graves, I don't know their stories. This guy right here, Clark, McKinney, Burdett. I don't know if somebody shared it with them. But what I do know is they probably had friends, family, people close to them that were Christians, that did believe these things, but were too ashamed to share it with them. And who knows the rest of their story? But I want to know the rest of mine, and I want my story to be defined by the stories of all of you. So there is no coincidence in this life. There is no coincidence that you're watching this video right now, that you're hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth. And I want you to know that there is a God that loves you. There's a God that just wants to, just wants to be with you, just wants you to invite him in, and doesn't care what you've done, doesn't care who you were. He's more concerned about who you can be through him. And so I want that to encourage you guys today. If you have any, any questions, if you have any prayers that you need prayed for, issues that you're going through, struggles in your life, please send me a message. Send me a DM. Send me a Facebook message. I would love nothing more than be able to pray for you specifically about whatever in the world that you're going through so that you know that you're not alone in this fight.